gonna sell cookies. Uh, what's going on? Well, I have a treat for you, for us. I mean, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. You guys have requested it. And I feel like it's a good time because now is always a good time. So I know that some of us struggle with the concept of how to wear white shoes. And it's maybe because we have our own styling limitations, maybe the whole wearing white after Labor Day thing traumatizes, especially if you watch the movie Serial Mom by John Waters. Yeah, after I saw what went down with the lady that wore the white shoes after Labor Day, I don't know, I think it like put a burden on me. And I carried it for so long. But the thing is, every time I would see someone wearing white shoes that wasn't a sneaker or a tennis shoe, whatever you call it, um, I would admire their boldness, especially if it was after Labor Day, especially if they just looked like it flowed so easily for them. I was like, oh my God, I wish I could wear white shoes like that. I just, I can't crack it for myself. For whatever reason, I think it's easier to, you know, wear a white sneaker with certain things because we have so many different types of inspirations online on how to style it. But white shoes, not so much. But recently, I have purchased a few white, crisp white, stark white, slightly off white pairs of shoes to add to my wardrobe. And I've actually never been more excited to style a certain color of shoe. So today's video, I will be trying out different formulas with white shoes. I have a heel, I have a flat. What I'm going to do mentally for myself while we try out these formulas, I haven't actually tried on these outfits prior to the video. It's all gonna be in real time. But you know, in my mind, I think that white is a neutral, just like metallic is a neutral, just like brown and black is a neutral. Just like to some people, some neon colors are neutrals. It could either bring balance to an outfit or it could make an outfit stand out and be the center of the tension. So let's get into some of these formulas and see how they work. I'll see y'all at the end. Obviously, all black would be an option, but this modern day zoot suit with the thin white pinstripe is such a good source for these unexpected Tory Burch Mary Jane ballet flats to pair with and pop out. And then the green LV bag, it's giving the unexpected with the unexpected. I really loved how this one came together. And I feel like most people would do a loafer or a heel, but these Mary Janes really make it pop out a little bit more. So the silhouette of this outfit really stands out the most and the white on green on white sandwich makes sense of it all. I felt like this was a super cool neutral look with the muddy green dark park cargos, the Madewell white denim jacket, and the LV knot pumps and everything just goes so nicely with the Fendi um, phone pouch. But I really like this look. It's clean cut, but the actual cargos makes it a little bit more rougher. I like it. I'm loving how the white pumps beam so harshly against the dark blue denim and I paired a neutral color blazer to bring balance. Again, this outfit screams look at me the silhouette and the color combination brings balance with a little bit of a shock factor. And you know I had to throw in the cookie bag because it has a neutral color in it. The cookie and the black, so why not? But I just think that this is super fun but also really serious because of the edge that it gives. While here on Beyonce's internet, denim on denim on denim is all the rage. That's a Cowboy Carter reference, by the way. The Canadian suit is an amazing canvas for an outfit. It really allows a person to have fun with their choice of accessories. And here, I decided to keep my options neutral with the tan hobo bag from Givenchy and the stark white pumps. The aged leather and the harsh white really don't mix. And it's so good and on purpose. Like, I like it. It's giving juxtaposition. Okay, so y'all, the all brown look, I immediately started to crave dark chocolate chip cookies with white chocolate chips on top. These vintage faux lizard pants and dark brown asymmetrical sweater with the white pumps, it's giving elevated clean cut boss vibes. It's chic and instead of the expected all black attire, this is a proper sweet approach. I'm really feeling her all year round. Thank you. Well, maybe not all year round, maybe not summer, but you know what I mean. 
She's still a vibe. Oh, she's cute. Now, you cookies know I don't do much color, but I do love this colorful striped sweater of mine oh so much. And I needed something with color to show white shoes obviously go with other items other than the neutral tones. I also love the way that this skirt and the flats go together because I feel like people would expect a high heel. But this entire fit is giving sorbet sweetness and NYC energy because she's fancy and she's comfy. Thank you very much. So I wanted to play around and do a two for one moment with this all black fun silhouette and leather short moment with a fun oversized print top, which we'll, you'll see in a minute. But yes, we can do an all black ensemble with the white shoe, but I thought I would make this a bit more fun with a sassy structure and texture. I also love the ivory boots because it brings a balance to the hard black, but with the jacket over it, it just looks like a good time. And I even feel like I could do this jacket and the boots on their own. Yes, the jacket as a dress, y'all. She's sassy. I'm really just, I'm loving this, this moment because the leopard has hearts in it. But yeah, I had a lot of fun just sitting in this outfit. So I will definitely be repeating this one sometime next week when I have to go somewhere. And finally, a little bit more animal print for you mixed with two of my favorite trends blended at the moment, tan suede and fringe while this fit is technically a caramel desert palette the white gives it a pop and it supports the extraness of it all i really love it here in this outfit um definitely gonna be redoing this i feel like it's an indiana jones realness moment and i'm really here for it mm -hmm. i think it's safe to say that white shoes i have now accepted the concept they they are a neutral shoe they can go with everything prints bold colors all white all black all the things and i know some of y'all probably watching this video like carolyn how is it that people struggle with this concept they're white shoes they go with everything what is going on y'all have to understand that everyone thinks the same and that is why i like to make videos that might seem a little normal or common sense to some of y'all but it's not common sense to a lot of people it's not easy for a lot of people it was not easy for most of my adult life the concept of wearing a white shoe and i have two degrees in fashion so listen everyone has their things and i am glad to say i have come out of this burden that i carry that i could not style white shoes but i can now so anyway thank you guys for watching listen and i know I know you guys are gonna probably leave me comments about how you're gonna how you would have styled certain outfits. Leave it below. I probably will not share a redo here. That's why maybe y'all should follow me on TikTok and Instagram. So thank you for the suggestions on how I should have worn some of these outfits because I know it's coming. I know how y'all are, but I'll do it over there if the occasion happens that I need to wear that outfit in a different way. I'll do it over there and show you. But yes, thank you for the suggestions and also. What would you wear white shoes? What are your go-to formulas of wearing white shoes? Comment below, share with us how you do it. And also, are there any other colors that you guys have trouble with? What's your, what's your brick wall color? I feel like white was my brick wall color for all this time. And then I had neon green was a hard, a hard color for me to style at one point. But... And that could be just because, you know, there are certain colors that just don't go well with our skin tone. But also it could just be like, I don't know. I don't know how to style it. And that's okay to admit. So what are your hard colors? I know they exist. I'll see y'all in the comments and in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye, cookies. Bye.